build a nation, we need more than one character. Sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless some of us with more than one that we definitely need to make a change and to leave an impact. And one of the women that had more than one character and definitely left an impact is Nusayba bin Tukab. She's a companion who was born and raised in Medina. She came from Banu Mazin. It's a clan from Al Khazraj tribe in Medina. Her mother name was Rabab bin Abdullah. Nusayba bin Tukab from Banu Al Khazraj. And she was one of the most prominent female Muslim figures of Islam. And she played a major role in many Islamic history events. The reason she was extraordinary is her patient courage, sincerity, and dedication to this deen. She became a Muslim before Rasul migrated to Medina. She actually won, was one of the two women who traveled with the companions to meet Rasul in Al Aqaba and to pledge the allegiance to Rasul. The allegiance of Al Aqaba is when a delegate from Medina went to meet Rasul on the outskirt of Mecca. And that event and that allegiance changed the history of Islam. Because that's when Rasul felt the people of Medina are willing to accept him. And this actually made or paved the road for the migration to Medina, which basically changed the Islamic history. She was very courageous, and history would write this for her. Not only she, her husband, she married it twice, and her four sons. Her Landmark courage was seen on the day of Uhud, the famous battle where originally the Muslims actually won. And at that point, she was in the battlefield taking care of the wound. When things turned around and the Muslims start to lose, that's when she starts fighting like no other fighter. It's reported that she got 12 wounds from that day when she fought to save the Rasul Her son was with her fighting Abdullah, and he was struck with a sword in Uhud. She came to him, wrapped his wound with a band-aid, and told him, go back and continue fighting. Rasul saw that, and he looked at her and says, who can do what you did, Ya Ummu Amara? This is actually her nickname. The man who struck her son, Abdullah, came back to the battle. So Rasul warned her and informed her when he saw that man that he's back. And Nusayba herself, that woman, confronted the fighter, knocked him down off his horse. And then she actually and her son Habib killed that man. Rasul said about her, I did not in that battle, I did not turn right or left, except that I saw her fighting for me. Sayyidah Nusayba stood strong and fought for Rasul despite her wounds. Her worst wound was actually on her shoulder, which took years to heal after that battle. In the same battle, Rasul made a lot of dua for her and for her family. And he said, imagine this, you and me, and Rasul making this dua. And he said, may Allah bless you, O people of this home. Your mother place, and he was talking to her son, Abdullah, and he said, your mother place is greater than the place of so-and-so. And he mentioned some companion. May Allah have mercy on you, O people of this home. And your father, place is greater than the place of so-and-so. 
may Allah have mercy on you, people of this home. She had a wish. She actually asked the Rasul And what is what was her wish? Pray for me. Pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we pit, make me a companion with you in paradise. So Rasul made this dua for her. He said, Ya Allah, make them, the family, my companion in paradise. She actually was also not only courageous, but she was one of the reasons for revelation of a verse in the Quran. When she came to Rasul and she said, the man is taking away all the rewards and most of the rewards are mentioned in the Quran about the man. What about us women? And then the verse in, the, in Surah Al-Ahzab, in al-Muslimina wal-Muslimat, the believing men, the believing woman, the Muslim men, Muslim woman, the fasting men, fasting women, all this verse was revealed because of her in one narration. In another narration, it's actually also was reported that Umm Salama asked the same question. Sayyidina Rusayba fought and was courageous till the last breath in her. Not only in the Battle of Uhud, she actually was part of the Fath Makkah, the conqueror of Mecca, and also in the Battle of Al Yamama. After Rasul passed away, she was part of that battle also. She was so sincere, loved this deen, sacrificed for this deen, and believed fully in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and supported the Rasul enough the dua that the Rasul made for her. Oh.